so the installation is still in full swing and they're just taking the time not in any great hurry and it's um, a four bank of battery here 48 volts each at a thousand ampere hour per bank there are 24 cells connected in series two volts at a thousand ampere hour so each bank has a total of 48 kilowatt hour put the four banks together a whopping 192 kilowatt hour So if you're going to use this battery bank to de deliver 200 amps at any one given time out of each bank, you can last for about maybe roughly um, 20 hours or so. 20 hours delivering a constant 200 amps. And out of that 192 kilowatt hour here, I think you're going to only get half out of it, so you'll get probably, probably 96 kilowatt hour because you're only discharging at about 50% of the capacity here. Nice, well-built battery banks. Small, small area of space. And uh, weigh a ton, a lot of weight here. Very heavy. Each cells weigh about maybe nearly 150 pound, nearly 150 pound, and they're very awkward to lift. Two volts, 1,000 ampere hour. Each cells. And the way they're packed inside here, in order them to take up less room because they can stack on top of each other like this, in this form factor. And what I like about it, this installation, they're having a breaker on the positive side, on the negative side of each cell, there's a breaker here. Negative side of each cell, each bank, there's a a breaker so that if you have to do any maintenance on any one of these bank there would be no mistake in shutting off the breaker as to which bank is off you'll be working on the same bank that you close your breaker off so that is nice pretty good I've never seen four four battery bank in one space like this, with such a small space, because of the form factor of these batteries, anyway. And I've seen bigger batteries than these that take up a whole lot more room than this. And this is a positive side. Have to keep that um, cap over it to protect it, protect it from any um, thing that may drop across it to prevent it from shorting out. So nice, and these are the size of cables that they're using. Copper flexi cable. Oh yeah. I can't afford one like this. Can't afford a bank like this. Be too much for right now. Maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. You might come across this when they throw these out and decide lithium is the thing to go. But this will be too much. This will be too heavy to deal with. Too heavy. And I think lithium will be coming down cheaper anyway. And if you were to put lithium of the same capacity, I think it will only take up a quarter of the space inside here. Same capacity, quarter of the space. Now you need rectifiers to charge these up 
three phase rectifier, I charge these up, and um, uh, yeah, they're going to be pulling some current to charge them from maybe zero to um, 100 percent, whatever um, shape they're in right now. They will need to um, charge up really good on each cell. Um, I don't see any individual leads to monitor them like you have in um, no BMS lead to monitor each one of these cells individually. So I guess um, it's going to have to be some brute force operation to come and check each cell, so see if they're well charged. I'll be glad to see how they go about doing that. And... Um, yeah, I think the technology right now will enable you to use some internet to look at these um, battery banks. But, as I said, what about each cell? Looking at each individual cell to see how much they charge, what is, how it's behaving. Um, with the lithium battery, you know you have that... Um, BMS that you put across each cell so that you could um, observe what is going on to prevent it from overcharging and undercharge. I don't think these will have anything like that. So I'm just waiting to see the rest of the installation to see what's happening. It'll be a, it's be a nice lesson to learn. It'll be a nice lesson to learn. Yeah. 48 volts disconnect that is the disconnect switch here so you can turn each bank off individually without mistake depends on which one you're going to work on if you have to do some maintenance on any one of them and you want to shut it off because even though they look like they're individual here when they get out to the rectifier bay the distribution bay i think they'll be connected in um parallel to maintain that 48 volts and share and do some capacity sharing so that all the energy wouldn't be taken from one battery bank and leave the other one. They'll be sharing up at capacity. And uh, that would be good. So four nice battery banks. Okay, I will keep you posted in a little bit. Yeah, so this is the rectifier. As I said, some sensors there that will um, do some monitoring and some reporting on this rectifier charger to see exactly what is going on. 48 volts, 3 kilowatt for that one. I think they will have something stuck right over in these, um, each individual bay here to see the capacity that they can carry and um, they will do their thing inside here. They will do their thing inside here. So that's the distribution of energy inside here and um, at the other side we look and see the cable coming from the battery bank so from the battery bank you have um, 16 cable running over here 8 negative 8 positive negative 48 volts and then uh, the return so all these will be well protected and um, it will be restricted area and danger. You'll be hardly visiting this room anyway. So that's the back of the rectifier where they will be connecting. And I think the AC will be coming in to connect to these rectifiers, three phase AC, and that will be used to charge up the batteries. And um, monitor the charge of state and state of charge anyway and this is the distribution panel 
that will be finding out the voltage to different area. Some bigger breaker switch. Yeah. Whatever they will put here. And look like some sensor leads that will take care of the monitoring what's going on. Ethernet cable to so this will be IP connected to something. So it'll be able to remotely manage your system here. And that is good. That's what you want on your on your battery bank. That's what you want on your energy storage. To see what's going on. To give you a good report from remote. Without you visiting the, the room or the site every time to see what's happening. Size of breaker we have there. Right. So, I'll be waiting to see the rest of the installation and to probably hear the hum that is coming off of this, of these rectifiers inside here. So, I'll say bye for now.